Chapter 24 The Lord said to Moses, Command the people of Israel to provide you with pure olive oil for the lampstand, so it can be kept burning continually. Aaron will set it up outside the inner curtain of the most holy place in the tabernacle, and must arrange to have the lamps tended continually from evening until morning before the Lord. This is a permanent law for you, and it must be kept by all future generations. The lamps on the pure gold lampstand must be tended continually in the Lord's presence. You must bake twelve loaves of bread from choice flour, using three quarts of flour for each loaf. Place the bread in the Lord's presence on the pure gold table, and arrange the loaves in two rows, with six in each row. Sprinkle some pure frankincense near each row. It will serve as a token offering to be burned in place of the bread, as an offering given to the Lord by fire. Every Sabbath day this bread must be laid out before the Lord on behalf of the Israelites as a continual part of the covenant. Loaves of bread belong to Aaron and his male descendants, who must eat them in a sacred place, for they represent a most holy portion of the offerings given to the Lord by fire. One day a man who had an Israelite mother and an Egyptian father got into a fight with one of the Israelite men. During the fight, this son of an Israelite woman blasphemed the Lord's name, so the man was brought to Moses for judgment. His mother's name was Shalomith. She was the daughter of Debrai of the tribe of Dan. They put the man in custody until the Lord's will in the matter should become clear. Then the Lord said to Moses, Take the blasphemer outside the camp and tell all those who heard him to lay their hands on his head. Then let the entire community stone him to death. Say to the people of Israel, those who blaspheme God will suffer the consequences of their guilt and be punished. Anyone who blasphemes the Lord's name must be stoned to death by the whole community of Israel. Any Israelite or foreigner among you who blasphemes the Lord's name will surely die. Anyone who takes another person's life must be put to death. Anyone who kills another person's animal must pay it back in full, a live animal for the animal that was killed. Anyone who injures another person must be dealt with according to the injury inflicted, fracture for fracture, eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Whatever anyone does to hurt another person must be paid back in kind. Whoever kills an animal must make full restitution, but whoever kills another person must be put to death. These same regulations apply to Israelites by birth and foreigners who live among you. I, the Lord, am your God. After Moses gave all these instructions to the Israelites, they led the blasphemer outside the camp and stoned him to death, just as the Lord had commanded Moses.